Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Hallelujah. 
serpents look into the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of the maiden into the hand of their mysteries, even so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God, until he hath mercy upon us. <laughs>
places and there's like uh, the new church and okay the new church and so you look at the the, uh, the cornerstone for the new church and it was like from the, the 1600s you know uh, it gives you an understanding of history uh, certainly that we're celebrating the feast of Athenius the new and he was born at the end of the 9th century and lived into the 10th century um, which is the early 900s uh, and uh, he uh, was um, raised in the faith, uh, but pursued a life in the military, and then ultimately married, he had a daughter, um, but through God's providence, he ultimately ended up in asceticism, 
uh, and founded uh, both a uh, men's monastery and a women's monastery uh, in Thessalonica. Uh, and also, he spent a lot of time on Mount Athos. And so he uh, was known as a great preacher and a great um, lover of the faith, uh, and he was able to transmit that to many people. Um, also, we celebrate today the memory of Lucian, uh, the presbyter or the priest, uh, who is a, um, a, uh, an earlier saint. He died in the year 311, um, and apparently he was just a wonderful scholar. He would translate the scriptures uh, from, the, uh, from the Old Testament scriptures from the Hebrew uh, into the Greek, uh, and he would debate with uh, um, Jewish scholars about the meaning of particular texts, uh, and uh, he lived a, a life of, of, uh, of study uh, and of, uh, of growing his particular parish in Greater Antioch, uh, but ultimately Diocletian began his persecutions, uh, and it was a brother priest who turned him in. He was hiding, and it was a uh, brother priest who was jealous of him that turned him in. It reminds me of that psalm that we say, it was you, my companion, my familiar friend. We used to hold sweet converse. We walked together in God's house in fellowship. Um, this sometimes happens, and Lucian experienced this sort of a betrayal by one of his own uh, brothers, uh, and ultimately uh, endured a very long, um, uh, struggle uh, and torture for the sake of Christ. Um, but he was fervent uh, in his hope, he was fervent in his, uh, in his uh, knowledge of Christ, and he endured everything with patience. And one of the things that they did was they tried to starve him, and he, um, he was a lot more robust than they, uh, than they thought he would be. And then ultimately, on the day after, uh, on Theophany, uh, in the year 311, he received Holy Communion, and he died the next day. Now you may be asking yourself, and I ask myself this, if he died on January 7th, in the year 311, wouldn't we celebrate his day in January? Well, here's a little bit of history. We did, at one point, celebrate his feast on January 7th. But then it became known as the Feast of the Synaxis of St. John. And at around the same time, the Empress Helena built a church in Antioch dedicated to the memory of Lucian, and it was dedicated on this day. Uh, so the feast was transferred from January to October, uh, and that's why we celebrate Lucian's day today and not in January. Typically, we celebrate the, uh, the commemoration of the martyrs on the day that they died. Uh, at the day that they were, uh, they gave their souls uh, over into the kingdom. But because of the feast of, of the Synaxis of St. John after Theophany, it was moved to October to um, correspond to the day that a church uh, that, uh, that was dedicated in his name over his relics was, was consecrated in Antioch by the Empress Helena. It's also important to note that the, uh, the great exegete uh, and father of the church, John Chrysostom, uh, wrote uh, a beautiful um, uh, praise about the martyr Lucian. He was one of John Chrysostom's heroes. Now, John Chrysostom has a hero. We should pay attention uh, and learn a bit, a little more about his life because so much of our understanding of the, of the scriptures uh, and of how to practically live the Christian faith uh, was distilled through the mind and the heart and the soul of St. John Chrysostom. So, uh, if you don't know about the martyr Lucian yet, from what little I told you tonight, um, he's probably worthy of uh, getting to know. He's got John Chrysostom's stamp of approval, okay? Well, God bless you all. This, uh, this uh, two updates uh, for this evening. Um, I sent a note out to the men's club, uh, but um, Nick Sample and his wife Kelly were involved in a, um, a very difficult car accident on Sunday. They were actually, um, uh, someone came across their lane and hit them head on. Uh, and uh, Nick was released the following day uh, from the hospital, um, bruised and banged up, uh, but Kelly suffered a fractured pelvis, and she also had a fracture in her uh, elbow, and she had a major surgery today to reconstruct all of that, but she came out of the surgery really well. She's gonna have like a six-month recovery. 
um, in order to, uh, and maybe future surgery. So please keep, especially Kelly, but also Nick uh, in your prayers. And also today, Kathy Kemp uh, had a procedure. Many of you knew that she was going to have a procedure to uh, discover some things, uh, some cardiac issues that she has going on. The procedure went well, uh, which is the good news. Uh, the other news is, though, that she's going to have to have some follow-ups and potentially uh, a future surgery. But she's so thankful for everybody's prayers. And Kathy, if you're listening tonight, um, uh, you have our love and, and our prayers. And uh, I know that uh, we'll continue to lift you up in them as you, as you recover. Uh, and I think that's it. Bible studies at 7.30. We'll end properly at 8.30. And this is probably the last week we're going to be studying Acts. Uh, we're in chapter 27. And you know there's only 28 chapters in Acts, so we're almost finished. Uh, but the exciting news is that next week, most likely, uh, Martha will be uh, taking the, the reins as far as leading the Bible study. Uh, and we'll begin uh, the study of Romans. So if you're interested in jumping on uh, to the Bible study, this is a great point. Uh, to jump into the Bible study because we'll be starting a new book uh, and you'll have a highly qualified uh, teacher. So uh, may, God, uh, may God bless you all. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us.